Hey, together, Aaron the Black Dragons back and welcome all of you to another part of Shante Risk is Revenge. So, in the last episode, we got the monkey dance. We can transform into a monkey, and as such, we can climb walls. And I think we also jump a little bit higher. Yeah, we jump a little bit higher. I think about one block, we jump higher. And we can stick to walls, which is great. And with that, we can now go around here and explore the rest of this area which was unexplorable to us before I don't know what I was trying to say here but we can now go over here without having to do this stupid puzzle over there also which is nice to note there is if we touch water we transform back into our normal selves I just wanted to go back really quick because I was not sure if there's anything that I potentially missed but I don't think that except for that there's anything we can do with the monkey form so therefore I basically just wasted time doing that but I also showed off that you transform back if you touch the water in your monkey form so that's something good. Last time we went down there and there actually was something let me take let me let me take a look. First of all, there's nothing up there, but there was a crack in the wall here. That's what I'm after. Because I'm an explorer, so therefore I'm interested in finding those things. Give me that. Hello. Ah, it's another one of these. So let's... Let's clear that out. Let's see what comes out if we clear out that thing. Okay, can't do anything with that apparently. There's something it could punch out. Anything else? It has to be more that I can do with that. That cannot be all. Let's crawl in there. Let's take care of all of that. Okay, cannot do anything else in here. Good thing is that I have the monkey form. Let's shift back here. There we go. Dealt with. Ouch. Jumped like an idiot into your face! Come back here! I did it again! Come on! So, there you go. Give me that. And there was another one over there. I'm touching your tootsies! You are in a bad spot for me. But I did it anyway. And where it is? There it is. Thanks for the key. And got another key! Perfect! That was a bit more complicated than the other one was, because I had to crawl inside its mouth. But other than that, it was rather easy. Let's do the monkey dance and go back. And there shouldn't be anything else, because if I go down here now, there should be just the place that we were before. Yeah, okay. So that's good. Also, something that was rather... We can hear it right here is... Um, the chirping again, and I'm pretty sure that the chirping means there's something hidden somewhere. It also may just refer, um, refer to this little crack right here, so I don't know. But normally that means something is going on somewhere. Let's see, can I break those? No. Okay, then I don't. Then I think I have got everything. So let's let's go ahead and climb those chains chains here for a change and see what's up there. Come on, climb up there. Over here. Let's... Come on, get off the chains. Getting off the chains is sometimes really, really difficult. So let's do that. Makes it a little bit hard. Harder, easier. Let's go up here. Because that was rather obvious. Shift back. Boom. Thanks for all the yams. And... That was dumb. And Aliop, back I am! Wonderful! So, good. Hi there, old man Jenkins. First of all, give me that, and then let's heal me. Uh, heal me, save me, save me! Thank you. Let's move on. We should get closer to. Yeah, there we go. Let's get all the things that are over there. There's also something chirping around. Is there a secret hidden in this room? Let's check around here really quick. I don't know if those chirps really mean there's a he secret hidden somewhere, but if that means that, then I should be well aware of that. 
in the future, but I didn't fi find anything, so... Maybe I cannot reach it just yet. No, you managed to solve my labyrinth, but it won't do you any good. My magic seal is staying right here. Me and my babies are ready to tussle. Hello there, also fudge! That was not nice. I also have some fireballs that I can... I'm gonna get rid of some of your babies. And... Hi there. Thank you for making it easy to me. Let's deal some damage there. Ouch, that shouldn't have worked. No, he's eating food. I got healed. I wanted to jump you. Okay, if it does that, I need to shift into the monkey form. Otherwise, okay, I cannot do that. Let's fire some fireballs into your direction, into your general direction. So, and now I can punch you with my hair again. Hi there, buddy. Oh, shift. And let's go up here. So, buddy, come on. Try me. And I did not care. You can see. I don't care. Oh god, too much. Let's fire a fireball into your direction. Get rid of the ones behind me. I damn it every time. He's good. Yeah, come down here again. That way it's That way you're making it easier to me. Damn it, got it again. Now I need to do that. He's getting close. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. No! I jumped right into you. I mean, I don't have to be too worried about that, to be totally honest. Yeah, come down here again. That makes it so much easier for me. Please, none above me, none above me. Perfect. That makes it also rather easy for me to deal damage to you. Oh, God. I'll you. And let's wait. Kill all your babies yourself. I'm not gonna have one part of that. That's not good, fireball! Long distance attacks are always good in situations like this. And doing damage to you. Nape! I. Okay. Now it's time for something like that. And. Whoop, drinking some of that, and back to the fireballs. Always stay on top of your health. I need to wait here for a second so that I can take them out. Okay, wait. You're gonna do that for me, so I'm just gonna do that and monkey around. Buddy, you're a nuisance to me. Can we please stop doing this? Whoop. Nay. Stop it. Don't run away from me. What are you, a scaredy cat? Basically. I mean, we are... Risky boots! Well, 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 I see you managed to beat me to the first magic seal! Nicely done! Now be a good girl and hand it over! Not a chance! Back off or I'll smash this thing to pieces! My, no need to be hasty! I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of each other down the line! Ta-da! Well, that was something. Good job, we did that. So, we have the first magic seal. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to... Skeletown. <laughs> Nearly forgot the name of the place that we live in. And we're gonna talk to Bono and the others what they have to say because there's now a little bit more flavor text to them and that's interesting. Hi there, stupid spider thingy. And also we're gonna buy some things because we have a nice amount of money. And hi there. Just die. Makes it easier to me. Also, I think I have to go up there. Yes, I do. Damn it. And um, we're gonna upgrade ourselves a little bit. But I'm gonna spare you to walk there because nothing on the way there should have changed as far as I'm concerned. So, see you guys there.
Hey guys, you remember this pillar? Now that we are the monkey? Boop. I told you we can jump higher now. Let's open this up. And give me a heart holder. Now we can take more damage. Now we have four hearts, so that's good. We're also rather close to the town, so... Now, that's out of the way. It's great. Come on. Interesting. <laughs> Whatever. So, we are back to Skeleton now, so... Uh, first... I uh, bit my own tongue there. First things, I wanna go to the shop and buy some things because we have a lot of money and we have three magic gems. Welcome to the item shop. So we can have silk cream which repairs build ends for faster whipping, which we can have because we have three uh, of the magic gem or magic fill or attract magic. I actually care more about that, so let's buy this item. We need more magic gems now to buy the other things, but I'm more about the silk cream because more whippage. And then we also gonna buy, since we have a lot of money, let's buy split fire. I cannot buy that since we need the magic uh, gem for that, but we can buy that as well. And let's buy that as well. That's all our magic here and let's buy some of that stuff and some health because knowing me, we will always need that. But now we also have um, this thing. It's an orbital, but it's really good to have. So, we're gonna keep that around. Gonna help us in the next turns. Um, let's talk to Bodo first. Bono, Bobo. Completely forgot his name right now. So, he should be. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh, Grandpa. Uncle. Damn it. Have you been to the forest cave? It has a lock. Uh, it has a locked door inside. Perhaps I'll tunnel in there one of these days for Lucas. Look see. Oh, of course it would be much easier if we had the missing key. Yeah, the forest cave. Well, the forest cave and key. I don't have a key at the moment, so nothing I can do about that just yet. But, I mean, whatever. That's the cave that I got stuck in the first time, by the way. Because I thought that's the way I need to go. Hi, what do you tell us now? Ranch spotted a tent while flying over the desert. Maybe you should check it out. Yeah, there we have it. We have to go to the, the desert next. The, the, the desert next. So that's what we're gonna do, but not in this episode. Um, no. I wanna find out if Bodo is somewhere that I can talk to him. Maybe he's near our place, so let's take a look over there really quick. Also, we have the monkey now, so... I don't know, was there something over there that I could do with the monkey? I think so. Let's check that out really fast. Because I think there was something actually over here, like... A cliff face that I could go up with. The monkey! It should work out. Wonderful. And open that up. Money. Wonderful. Anything else over here? Yes. Paul... Polo Beach. So... Ah, see? Here we need the monkey. We're gonna do this really quick, and then we're gonna leave this episode. That's gonna be dangerous. We can't stick to the sides of that. That's the reason we needed the monkey to get here in the first place. Damn! We're not gonna talk about what just happened there. That was stupid. Ali up. Go over there. We need to stick on the other side. Sticking on you, but standing on you. That's not good. Ah, made it! I'm a bit too chumpy for all of this. Oh, yep. There's a cave. Let's go in there. Whew. Let's see what's over here. Um, that's not good. I cannot stick to this wall. I cannot make it. That was not what I want. I cannot jump high enough to make it this block. That's what I wanted to show. So this cave is at the moment not passable for us. So we still need something else to be able to move in here. But we have still some way to go, but there... Come on now. I mean I have healing potions, but I don't wanna waste them because of me just dying over and over at this chasm thing. Boom. Do we come down? No, but he does. Whoop. Seriously! He cock blocked me. That's not okay. Oh boy, don't do that. Man, you scare me. Okay, come here. 
Come on now. And this time, how about I don't bonk my head on you so that I can make this? That would be something, wouldn't it? Now I make this. We could make some of those jump, jumps as Shante and not as a monkey, but I feel safer with the ability to possibly also stick to the wall. So let's move on. Hi there. We can't, we can't talk to you as a monkey. Who ever talks to a monkey? Let's save this up right here. Thank the. So a, a quick look over here. It's water, 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 water. Jump over you. And activate you. And yes, it is morning. So wonderful. Now we have this place here as well. And treasures. Thanks for all that. And. Oops, wait, give me that first. Magic Yam! Wonderful! Uh oh, the genie. I suppose you're still angry with me. Oh, word has spread. Now that the risky bullets is plotting revenge, Sequin and Palace is afraid to send wagons. Without our fishing trade, Scum Town is all washed up. I was hoping not to resort to this, but here. You got the town deed. What's this? The deed to Scuttletown? A wealthy man from beyond the wastelands has been pressuring me to sell the town. I resisted, of course, but now his offer is the only hope for our people. So after much thought, I've decided to turn the reins over to him. Life will, life will never be the same, but at least Scuttletown will be provided for. There has to be some other way. If only there was. But I fear the making it, that making a tiny profit on the town moment before it's obliterated is the only solution. Please honor my request as a final act of service. Find the Emma Baron and give him the steed. So, that's what I wanted to get here. So, we now have the deed and we have to give it to the Emma Baron. Sounds familiar? Yes, that happens in the other in the other game as well. We're gonna give the deed to the Emma Baron. This time ourselves, not as it was last time where he just gave it to him behind our backs. Now we have to give it to him. But we're not gonna do this in this episode. Nay, nay, nay. We're gonna save here and then we're gonna leave this episode right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you to the next part of Shante Risky's Revenge. So, bye.